inverse normal probability calculations only this time we'll carry them out in statistics rather than in main so we start in here and tap onto calc and we're after inverse distributions this time and I always like to tap help uh, then when we go to look for our um, distribution function uh, it, they're normally a lot easier to find now of course the one we want here is the first one selected inverse normal CD so we'll tap on the next and um, for this first one our tail setting we want x is greater than some weight is 0.25 so that means we've got a right tail happening here the required probability is 0.25 I'll tap execute enter the standard deviation of 12 tap execute and enter the mean as 65 and when we tap next the uh, the value required is 73.09 and if we just want to check by tapping on the graph icon here you can see there's the right tail the 25 percent area and this point here um, on the scale is 73.09 so um, let's tap back and this time the next problem is we're after the values uh, on our normal distribution that would um, contain the middle 90% so that would mean we now need a, a center setting the probability would be 0 0.9 if we wanted to work the middle 90% if you are looking for the interquartile range that would be the middle 50% anyway we're all set to go we tap next and this time the lower and the upper values are 84.7 uh, and 45 and if we refresh the graph by tapping on the graph icon you can see that there's the lower value 45 here's the upper value 84 and within those two we've got the central 90 percent